Hello everybody, it's Paul Serenta. Today we're doing another mining video. I thought I'd do another top 10 cosmetics and hats, seeing as there has been new ones been added into the workshop. And a couple more weapons. Now as per usual, if I mispronounce something, that will be my dyslexia and global learn delay, which affects my reading and my pronunciation. So, yeah. That is going to be clear as per usual. I did practice a lot of these words to see if I can say them. So, a lot of them I should be able to say. So, hopefully, I won't be failing miserably like I usually do. But I'll be the judge of that. And that is something that we can see at the very end. That said, though, let's begin with number 10. Possessed Mayan. Now, this is a very bash bandicoot kind of feel. As it has that weird Mayan mask, you, you know, Uga Booga. It kind of feels like that, but it looks like Uga Booga's grandpa had a bit of a problem with the beard. But it looks very interesting on the classes, particularly with the eye colors, depending on what team. And also, it's paintable. So you can have a very interesting Mayan mask for Halloween if you want to scare people. Oh god, oh god I'm going to have a... Because <laughs> it's going to kill you. Oh my goodness. But yeah. Number 9 is a pretty basic Mr. Bubbles. It's a frog cosmetic that is on the sniper's shoulder. You know how... I, I think it's a frog or a toad. It could be either. Oh the hell, they all look the same. But this little, let's say, toad is paintable. And obviously you find them in the jungles. He looks a bit mysterious, like he knows you're up to something. But really he doesn't want to say because he knows if you say something you're from the nearest river to the sharks or to the piranhas. Yes, he's watching deep into your soul. But that is Mr. Bubbles for you. Creepy. Now then, let's see if I get in this name correct. The Jungle Brawler. I hope I said that right. This is a heavy cosmetic, yet again another jungle theme, heavy's muscular arms exposed, and obviously he looks pretty tough, and obviously with his medic alongside him. A pretty nice cosmetic, I have to say. It definitely does fit the jungle theme, as it has some camo as well. But yeah, very jungle-ish theme. I wouldn't be surprised if you see a heavy with this with a minigun. Wait, you already do. And he's ended up shooting your face. Run, it's a heavy weapon sky with his stylish clothes. So at number seven, Camo Commando. Another cosmetic for the soldier. This is a obviously similar to the heavies, it's a camo one. Now obviously soldier loves to be a bit camo-y when he goes into the forest and deals with the unknown threats of the jungle. But I quite like it. It shows what soldier is, and obviously he's a soldier. He doesn't give a flying monkeys about anyone but himself. And that hat, man, that would be an interesting set to have. But yeah, very, very interesting cosmetic items, I have to say. So number six is the Bushman, Larry the Bushman. And obviously it has a sniper rifle with it. Maybe find that in the workshop in the next video. This is a similar set. But we're looking at each individual item. And this is the basically the head of the sniper. Which looks very nice. And he has a definition of Bushman. Because obviously he's got a bush on his head. And he's hiding in the bushes. Ready to snipe your head off. And it is paintable. So if you find it dark green. Or maybe desert theme, even though it probably won't work in the Badlands. But yeah, a very interesting cosmetics, I have to say. Now, the next one is the Savannah Servant. I probably spelled the last one wrong, but don't forget, some of these names I do struggle to remember to pronounce. Another cosmic item for the soldier. A very interesting one, I have to say. Big Belt. But yet again, it, oh yeah, 
expeditions because of his arms and obviously if he has those two cosmates it makes the most sense because going out discovering new things in the jungle while well, avoiding being stung and killed by the natives dearie me so at number four is the forest fatigues this is the hands of the sniper and the mask well more of the let's say necktie or something I don't know how you call it that the sniper has with his bushman hat it's paintable and it's quite nice yet again if you want it all white or maybe all red or maybe a bit dark or dark green I think dark green does suit it then you can paint it as per usual it looks very nice and obviously with the bushman hat it looks even better yeah so number three is the tribal pigtail this is a cosmic for the scout because obviously it has that tribe look to it with the feathers obviously being paintable it's quite a nice cosmic I have to admit and obviously you could make the scout look like a Native American or maybe a Mayan or maybe somebody you want to run away from because he's got that Boston bash to make you bleed and make you cry for mummy but yet again, it could be Fifty Shades of Scout. Wait a minute, when did that come to the equation? Forget about how I said that. Any case, so, um... Okay, this name I'm gonna suck at. To... Keys... Towels. That first one, I can't get. Even if I try over and over again, I can't spell or pronounce that word very well. It's basically a consummate for all classes like tribes wear to hide their groins and obviously enough though all classes can wear it and it can be quite hilarious and obviously being paintable you will look like a tribesman put that on the scout with the pigtail then by god he looks like a tribesman watch out they're coming for you <laughs> yet again that was terrible now at number one the crowned curse this is an all class cos not cosmetic hat and this is sick I have to admit I like it it looks very cool very mysterious and if, any if you saw anyone wearing it and it's paintable you might want to run away because you'll be this poor scout being sacrificed to some kind of mind god medic is just having too much fun over there the pyro's like can you just get over the sniper's like Here's a touching story. Once upon a time, you died, and I only tapped you out after the end. And Heavy's like, deal with it, maggot. No, it's a soldier. With that said, though, that's the 10 cosmetics and hats of the Mayan project. Obviously, enough, though, I will be doing more of these as the more things are added in the workshop. I will probably do some unusual, see if there's any new maps, any new weapons. And it's very nice to see a lot of hard work is being put into these cosmetics for the project. Hopefully it becomes an official update because it looks very cool and promising. Thank you very much.